there's so much on the line, and a result on T-side ahead of the return leg on Tuesday at Villa Park would put Steve Bruce's men in a favourable position indeed. David Pratton is backing them to do just that. The Sky Sports pundit, who has provided predictions prior to selected championship fixtures each week throughout the season, reckons Villa will hold Tony Polisboro at the Riverside and put themselves in the driving seat to make the playoff final at Wembley. Bruce certainly has the experience, he's been promoted four times from the championship, twice through the playoff route. Former Southampton midfielder Prutton thinks that Noose will count for something. These two sides were arguably the favourites for promotion to the Premier League at the start of the season, but there is only one spot available at Wembley. Prutton told Sky Sports. Tony Polis and Steve Bruce are both more than familiar with the playoffs and it will great to see two old Warriors going at it for promotion. Neither side will give anything up in the first leg and I can't split them at the Riverside. Score draw. Pretton predicts 1-1 to -1 playoff assessment more Villa News nails are to be bitten. Paper bags might be needed. The championship playoffs is terrific viewing if you're a neutral but the most tense of affairs if your club is involved. It's the culmination of 10 months of work that can either be rewarded or fall flat on its face. Soon the battle will commence, but for now all we can do is talk it up and pay attention to what's being said by those that matter, the managers, the supporters and the experts. Aston Villa, Middlesbrough, Fulham and Derby County will fight to join Wolves and Cardiff in the Premier League next season in the rather attractive sum of money that marries promotion via Wembley. Here's what has been said about the campaign to come. The managers Gary wrote, What I will say now is that you can see it with the players, you can see they feel there is a little bit of extra zip, you can feel that bit of extra belief. They will go into these games, against Fulham, full of determination. We have almost been given a second chance and a side like that is going to be very dangerous. All the sides in there are good sides and sides with good quality, us included, and all are capable of winning the playoffs. S-L-A-V-I-S-A-J-O-K-A-N-O-V-I-C, we are more experienced now, it's our second year in the playoffs. I can't compare this season to last, but I believe we are a good team and can perform better than today. We can find more pace, create more chances, and be more organized and solid defensively, that's our target for the next few days. I told the players after the game that we must be stronger and be ready to compete, take a shower, rest and be ready for the next step. This is part of football. Steve Bruce, I have been there before and done it. It is a wonderful way to go up. It is probably more enjoyable because it is a one-off game, like a cup final. You play two semi-finals and a cup final. As a one-off and a spectacle, there is nothing better. We will fill Wembley. I was lucky enough to have a good day there and at Cardiff. If that is the case I hope it will stand me in good stead. Tony Polis, if you had given me a playoff position when I took over the football club, I wouldn't have cared who we were playing, so I can't be judgmental or care or worry about who it is. We have got Villa, who most probably have the strongest squad in the championship and it will be a real tough game. They will be big favorites, I'm sure. The pundits Michael Gray, Channel 5, they're absolutely great games to look forward to. Derby have obviously picked up a little bit of form. Fulham, we all know they've had an outstanding season, but will that hurt them, not going up in the top two? Middlesbrough and Aston Villa have both got experienced managers who have been there done it before. It's so difficult to call. 
I don't think Fulham will want to remember last season because they will want to go one better, but it's right to mention that because they've got that experience of being in the playoffs. Derby and Aroeth, it's his first opportunity, so that could be a fantastic game. The experience and the goals they've got in the team, they could take some beating, Eddie Gray, Leeds United, if I was a betting man my money would be on Villa. Fulham are probably the better football team out of the teams there and their recent record shows that. But I've just got a feeling, Aston Villa, big club, the playoffs. George Boateng, with Middlesbrough, the fact that they got relegated, they got a new manager, the continuity is not there. Villa has slight advantage over Middlesbrough, Fulham has a slight advantage over Middlesbrough, so this is why I am saying the expectations shouldn't be so high for Middlesbrough. But, obviously, if you make the playoffs and you get to the final, the final is the toss of a coin, so anything can happen in the playoffs. But based on the season, and form, and the players that the teams have, Villa have to get up this season, I think that if Villa don't get up this season, I think that we might not see Villa in the Premier League for a long, long time. Financially it will be a big problem for them but also trying to attract players to Villa again will be even harder. They have players there that if they don't make it they will also be looking to leave, like Jack Grealish Jonathan, Kojia is still there. So they have players to win but they have to deliver because it's either up or under for Aston Villa this season.